Hi guys, Elite Legionario here, bringing you a dual commentary 2 vs 2 for Rome Total War with my mate Doc Holiday. Doc? Hey there. I'm one of uh, Andrew's mates from school. <laughs> you just used my name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's right, it wasn't supposed to do that, was it? <laughs> Alright, yep. We went that's... to school together. That is my name, people. Right, so anyway... Um, yeah, we went to school together uh, back in the day. And, back uh, in the... Yeah, back, I haven't played online much. But, uh, back, back in the day, it was a while ago now. <laughs> so, what do you well, want to do? Not that long ago, really. Well, it feels like a while ago. I guess, or at least yeah, it does, it does. to me. At least it does to me. So what do you want to do? Team, we'll, we'll, better, we'll join up here in the middle. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's the best because we'll be out of the forest more, and um, we'll better play to our cavalry advantage. Yeah, and we don't we don't want to actually get engaged Germania in the forest either because that would be um, yeah disadvantage. Right, the barbarian factions get the bonus, don't they? Yeah. Right, so we'll, we'll join up in the centre. Yeah, I think that would probably be the best move. Um, let's see, you've got some Cretans, eh? So. Um, We've got a slight hill yep. advantage up here, so what we could do is, um, oh right, I forgot to say that. Did I actually say have fun? All no, I didn't, that's not like me. Have fun and all the best. <laughs> I always usually say it, I was just kind of busy with the whole commentary thing. Um, yeah, we should, we should, you kind of connect up with me. Um, your infantry's, uh, we're going to be outdone by Rome infantry wise. But um, we're going to have a cav. We should have a cav advantage. Um, I'll have. I've definitely got the best cav, and you. You've got better cav than Germania with companions. Um, yeah. Um, you kind of sort of you link up with me, and we'll take make use of this higher ground. Um, we'll draw Germania away from the woods because that would make it, I think, harder for us to defeat them in the woods. Probably. It's been a while since I've actually played Rome myself, so... It'll just depend on... If that Roman army's sizable, it might be a bit, um... Just, just, it might be a bit weaker, like, if you know what I mean? If it had that high number thing over quality. Qual quality over quantity. I mean, quantity over quality, rather. So, yeah. So... Yeah, right, I think that'll do for me. Yeah, or you might want to take your phalanxes out of phalanx formation so you can rush them quicker. Like, kind of like my right, guys oh, yeah. Yeah, that are out of formation. It, just so we can get around the battlefield a bit faster and, and hopefully, um, you know, cause as much disruption. They're not, they're not hey? going out of phalanx. It's not working. They're Isn't not it? going out of phalanx. Oh, you might have another unit selected. No, I'm clicking the button. Oh, I've already deployed. Oh, so I've clicked it. Oh, don't worry. Just as soon as you start, just um, just just you know, go for it. Right. All right. Let's see. That's a big Roman army. Mm, it's still got a fair amount of upgrades. Oh, look at that. He's not got very strong cavalry. He's just using Roman cavalry and and a six core of core of six units of gold gold um, legionary cohorts. Um, a couple of peasants. And a few are, yeah. So we're going to keep. We're we going to advance. Yeah. What we should. What you do? Get your Cretans up and start firing his berserkers. I think. Um, try and force them to come to us because we have a slight um, terrain advantage, but we um, have less numbers, so we have to take into account um, that. You know, that's a pretty huge Roman army. Um, a lot of upgrades into those arches. That's that's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's actually broken the rules there. Oh, but never mind, I'll let him away with it. Seven very heavily upgraded um, archers there, and four uh, gold, gold Roman archers, a couple of um, peasants. Be interesting. Protect them, protect them, Mark. Um, Cavalry a bit too far forward. Yeah, you want to make sure your archers are protected by. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't want to send all my cataphracts in. Yeah, let him, let him, let him escape. Now shoot, shoot them in the back. Shoot them in the back with your archers while he tries escaping. That's probably that'll, yeah, thin, that. that'll thin him out while he goes back turned. 
because see, watch this, watch them fall like flies when you mean actually. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That you just went down by. Tw look at that. Down to like 25 and or 28 and like just one volley. Um, here's the berserkers. Target the berserkers. Don't let them get into your infantry. Or get yep. your pikes down. They're okay. Your pikes shouldn't have too much trouble against berserkers. Um, just your pikes will be all right in dealing with berserkers. Just um. Just thin them out as much as you can with archer fire, because that's the easiest way to deal with berserkers, I've found. Okay, now I'm going to move up my horse archers, get them into thing, into Cantab circle. How are you handling there, Mark? Oops, I said Mark, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, it's alright. I think it's alright. Yeah, I think I've got them. Right. Yeah, get, get your pot. Yeah, you got them nice. Okay, um... I didn't even take any casualties on my pikes. Just, yeah, just use your missile units... I didn't even take any casualties. Just use your missiles to try and, um, mess up, um... Draw them in. Mess Germania as much as you can, and, um, I will, um... Just, I will skirmish with, uh... With Rome, and then you can outflank Rome on the other flank there. So I'm going to need your help against his infantry, I, I suspect. Because my infantry is not up to, not going to be up to par with his. Okay, pull back. Probably got too many cab on this side. Just pull them back out of here. I need to get them out of formation. See, I've made a bit of a blunder here myself. Do you want me to bring some of my cab over? Um, no, I should be all right for now. He just took some. I took a few. I took a few casualties there. It was a bit of a mistake on my part. But, um, oops, I told those units to run, um, and they're not. Yeah, Germania's going to have to move up, otherwise your archers should, shouldn't have too much trouble beating them. Your Cretans are a better archer unit for the most part. Yeah. So he'll have to either consider moving up. And I'm, I'm in loose. He's still in tight formation. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, my, my, my opponent appears to be in tight as well, so that's not so good on his part. Um... That was pretty even sort of exchange there. That was his general's unit as well. Um, he's, he's moving some of his, uh, his units around to your, your his cab around cab to your... Around there. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you like, I'll lend a cataphract that way, because my, my cavalry is way more than a match for my Roman opponent. So I'll be sure to help you if I can. So I'm just going to um, open up on some of these Roman archers, if possible. His archers are probably going to beat mine, because so, they've got much more upgrades. Right. Let's get them into Cantabrian Circle again. And he's now going into uh, into the old um, blah, loose formation. Okay, how's that working for you? I'm going to smack down those Night Raiders for you. And uh, the infantry... Now, what to those cavalry? Where did the cavalry go? Did he hide them? Uh, I could have, yeah. He's got them in the woods. You're right, so let's just stay away from the woods. Um, then yeah, keep, the cave, keep the cave away from the uh, woods. Um, yeah, this archer duel's going my way for the... Well, pretty evenly. For the most part, it is. Um, you can actually... Down you can actually... Here. Let's attack... Let's attack the... Um, Swing round. Swing, yeah, swing your forces round and all oh, look coming in behind you. Those archers. I'm not archers, horses. Where, where, where? On your left. Oh, there we are. I see, yeah. Uh, here comes some of the Roman cab on my side, so I've got that handled. He's trying to advance on me there. I'll lend a cataphract out that way and. Crap, okay, I'm, I'm gonna charge, I'm gonna charge my cavalry into his. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna bring my infantry around. You're trying to outflank him here, we're, oh, we've got this one, I think. Pretty pretty handled. Yeah. Well, right, yeah, I'm, firing into I'm gonna bring up my infantry now. Take advantage of him here. Attack that Roman cav. I'll send my, um... Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm going to slice into his side here, if possible. I'm, 
coming up now. And I'm going to pull out of that, just going to make quick strikes, try and yeah. put them out. And good one. Let's get into those, get into those cab now. I'm uh, not cab, um, infantry units rather. Um, it's alright, my cataphract seem to have that yeah, one. Sorry, mate, I said I was trying to run, light the tree up, it's your cue to run guys, what are you doing, run. Cue to run, do as Mr. Holiday says, but um, let's just rush them in there, rush them in there, now, I think we're pretty, we're pretty good now, for the most part, let's get the pikes down, pikes down, now we've got them. Nice one. Oh, Ooh, it's getting taken a bit of a beating, so I'm going to pull out of that one. Get my cataphracts away. I've got them pinned down pretty good now. Um, these guys are going to come in from the flank. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting run off here. Well, wow, I didn't even need my infantry. Nah. No, that, they went for quite large, qualitatively. No casualties there. Hey. Well, even over there against Germania, my infantry took. Oh, they took three casualties in total. Yeah, yeah, they went for some pretty. My um, took three casualties. They went for some pretty um, high, high quantity armies over quality. Yeah. So yeah, you know, sometimes that's not always the best move. And oh, I left a unit out here. Huh, I don't even think I helped you with that unit. I didn't. I lost track of it. But, um, that's pretty much the beaten, eh? I mean, that was a good game. Alright, let's see. Just sort of running off any routers here, people. Nah, you did a nice job there. It was really good. Yeah, definitely... Um, like, oh, what were you going to say? Sorry? Does Germania still have some forces hidden or something? Um, I don't think so. They might. I can't see anything. Sometimes Rome makes you chase down the entire... the whole horde. It's kind of annoying. Oh, by the way, I'd just best say GG all. It's always good to have courteous manners. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, well, no, I shouldn't think so. They would have they would have brought them out to um, assist, assist in their fight against you. Um, he admits, yeah, there we go, victory hours now. So, let's see. There we go. It's a clear victory for us. As you can see, people, I had 1,103 men, 1,283 kills, 803 men remaining, and looks like you did pretty good too, Doc. I'm yep. Yeah, I didn't take many casualties uh, that battle. No, yeah, no. I'm sure that um, the Germania player played it a bit odd. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of wasted. He put all that money into his berserkers and just rushed you, and it was, you know, with all those creations, yeah. that's not You're a very piecemeal. No, it's yeah, sort of one bit at a time. Yeah, I mean, you look like you lost what, like a hundred, less than a hundred, or maybe just a wee bit over a hundred casualties, and you've got a nice pile of kills. But um, yeah, um, definitely for me, it's my cataphracts, 189 kills, 194, 101, 102. Yeah. I mean, they just yeah, that's what they're real killers. That's what that's basically what you want with a army. I mean, even my arch is 149, 80. You know, basically this is the kind of outcome I think you want with a with an Armenian build. Your heavy spearmen are not really that great. You just use them to yeah. stall, stall while you use your cataphracts to win. Yeah. But um, well, I might as well my breakdown. I might as well save this one. Yeah, like 178. I'm one of the companion cavalry. Yeah. 106 on the other. 57 on the other. Um, my phalanx fight did quite well. 52 and 53. Yeah. Actually, casualties, and they're taking three and one casualty respectively. 
I mean, that's... Yeah, when those Berserkers charge in, my Phalanx Pike would own them. Yeah, the Berserkers are not good against Pike units, but if they get into any other kind of infantry unit, they're very deadly. But he used them pretty poorly. Yeah. Not, not to insult him or anything, it's just that he didn't use them very well. But uh, anyway, um, good game. And I hope you viewers enjoyed this dual com, and we might be able to get you another one. So see you soon next time.